My Guardian Spice had a very small budget. We were the first show of a non-union studio. If you're mad at the animation quality, it was the budget. Background art? Budget. Writing? Budget. We literally started storyboarding the first episode before the first script was finished. This is how a coward tries to defend their art. Sure, there was also the usual pivoting of arguments. Everyone who doesn't like my art is a hater, sexist, racist, homophobe, transphobe, pineapple on pizza phobe. You know the song and dance. It's the same thing every time a diversity quota hire gets called out for their shit. Everything is someone else's fault, nothing is on me, no introspection, no reason for me to grow. Aha. Uh -huh. But this tweet here is the part that actually matters. This is the crux of the argument. So let's give it a nice big slap on the face with a newspaper. I already had my say about the visuals, animation and the like. And amidst my cynicism and snark, I was being very charitable to this clusterfuck production. I even pointed out that money must have been a factor, to where it was squandered is anyone's guess. And I went out of my way to highlight and compliment the background art. So if anyone wishes to call me a hater, you are making a fool out of yourself. I didn't have to be fair, no one would call me out if I went full unbridled berserk and ripped this show apart purely for the lackluster production. But that's not what I did. For the sake of intellectual honesty. For honesty is the greatest virtue a man can have. Now as for money being an issue, and the sole reason for the messy visuals, that is a load of bull. Animation is one thing, but we also got this. This here. Constantly. Just a face, not animated, a drawing. And it's fucked. She looks like she's just been molested by Satan. There is no financial reason why a still drawing of a character is supposed to look like this. That is not a money issue. That is purely the artist fucked up issue. And if it was only that, if the childish, winching defense was purely about money equating time and manpower for production, then I would nod, leave it at that, and move on. But then... The creature known as Rodriguez just had to type this. The writing is bad because money? No. Just no. I'm gonna make this real simple. If you truly care about your story, if you have a tale that needs to be told, if you have true inspiration, if you love your characters, then there's no excuse for your script to be this utterly broken in every way. You should already have a solid plan for your story once you pitch it. Otherwise, piss off and make way for someone who actually knows what the hell they are doing. There is no pre-production short enough to justify this level of problems. Narrative redline? Non-existent. Characterization? Horrid. World building? Nonsensical. Pacing? Half the episodes are filler. Message and theme? When it's not laughable, it's pedestrian. And when it's not pedestrian, it's outright harmful and disgusting. The story is rotten to the core. Everything in this show is ripped off from other better stories that have come before, with no true vision of its own. I would call it basic bitch. But that would be an insult towards female canines. No one responsible for the script, not the writers, not the directors, not the editors, no one cared to do their actual job. The entire show is just a vanity project for progressive ideologues and Tumblr dwellers. Storytelling doesn't matter to them, all they care about is having diverse characters, which is just code for shitty self-inserts, unattractive females, and castrated males. This is blatant. The creators already outed themselves and got deservedly ridiculed for their absurdity since the show was first announced. Now after all the righteous vitriol the original teaser caused, the only right thing to do by the creators would have been to buckle up and show the people what they can do. Prove everyone wrong, at least tell a functioning story. 
but no. This story is a prime example of art done by people with zero talent. Anyone with even a shred of aptitude for storytelling would have never allowed something this half-baked to escape their brains and onto the page. The problems in the narrative are so fundamental and devastating that I'm comfortable calling the entire writing staff a bunch of retards in the fullest sense of the word. This is not an issue of money. This is not an issue of time. This is simply an issue of utter incompetence. No matter how much money and time you'd have at your disposal, High Guardian Shite would still have turned out as meritless garbage bordering on plagiarism. Because the story is everything. It is the soul. And you cannot buy a soul. As for me, my brain is constantly overflowing with ideas and story concepts. Regrettably, I have no time to pursue them fully. Because you know, boring everyday responsibilities and all. But if someone walked up to me and said, Hey, listen, we want you to create a dozen episode fantasy adventure story. Here's some money. And then threw a sack of dough at me. Not a lot. I'd take the gig for a minimum. You know what I would do? I would take my partner. We would lock ourselves in a cabin somewhere for a fortnight. And we would storm the shit out of it. We wouldn't sleep. We would hardly eat. We would just write and redraft and redraft. Until the text is the best it can be. Four hours of content is not that much, honestly. We could easily crunch that in no time. And we would love it. Because we love our characters, we love their world, they are pieces of our soul. We want to see heroes facing challenges and overcoming them. We want to create something that's new and entertaining and actually means something to the people kind enough to sit down and listen to us ramble. We fucking obsess about our characters in our free time. We constantly bounce ideas and talk about what we are gonna do next. We have so much planned out, it's practically a second life for us. Because we care that much. That is true inspiration. Money does not equate good writing. First, you have to give a shit. This utterly asinine statement. As someone who loves writing, who loves storytelling, someone who actually cares and wishes to keep on evolving, I'm taking this as a personal insult. And you know what truly grinds my gears about all this? It's that I know for a fact that there are thousands of people all over the world who have their stuff up on DeviantArt or YouTube or Wattpad or whatever or just tucked away in their drawer. And I know that any one of them could potentially one day create something great. Something worthy of everyone's attention. Maybe even good enough to be adapted into an official animated show with an actual budget. Many of them will be discouraged from trying their best, from evolving, or even sharing their stuff, because they think nobody will care. After all, the attention of the masses and the studios is aimed consistently on the types of creators who have nothing to say, talentless hacks, who have only been given money and a chance to create by the virtue of them ticking a fucking diversity box. Courtesy of either a scalpel or the Skittles company. Yes, shots fired. The fuck are you gonna do about it? There are so many talented people in the world who actually deserve to be heard. There are so many wonderful stories that will never see the light of day. Because the industry is clogged by filth like this. And I know that among those stories that will never get published, there is that one story that I would consider brilliant. Maybe even one of my new favorites. I will never get to experience that story. And it's all thanks to these whiny, self-absorbed pieces of shit. Who refuse to learn, refuse to grow, refuse to take responsibility for their own fuck-ups. And still dare call themselves creators. These kinds of people are the ones taking away valuable space and opportunities from all the artists with actual talent. Fuck every last one responsible for this cultural devastation. 
Not just these fucks, but everyone who made it so that we ended up here. <laughs>